Alright, so I am inside of the airport here at Reagan International and looking down you can see there's not much uh, traffic. It's kind of boring. It's kind of slow today. It's still 6.45 a.m. So, do a little loop. I mean, gorgeous. But, this is what it is these days. Anyway. So I'm going to head to my gate. I'm going to be there early. I don't mind being there early. I'm excited to get to Orlando. So I'll see you there. Follow along. Hey folks, so I am here at Disney World. This is the Traveling Jump Seaters page. Welcome. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell for future notifications. We do a lot of traveling, myself and Marcus, Traveling Jump Seater 1. I'm Traveling Jump Seater 2. My name is Matthew. Anyway. I'm here at Disney World. It's one of my favorite places to be. I love Florida, especially right now. It is so cold out home right now. Snow, the ice, the sleet. Guess what? I'm in the sun. It is 83 degrees. It is afternoon. I'm at Hollywood Studios. Follow along. Join us. Well, I am in. I am in Disney's Hollywood Studios. So excited to be back in here. It's been a couple weeks that I'm back. Weather's beautiful and the attraction are going to be amazing i hope uh, as i was walking through somebody said that mickey's runaway railway is closed today i don't know how true that is so let's go find out all right follow along All right, so yeah, so we just walked over to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and the attraction is down at this time. So, I don't know why, um, I don't need to know. That's kind of the magic that happens. Sometimes we're fixing things, sometimes things just happen. And we'll come back later to see if it's open. All right, where to next? Um, what do, should I do? What should I, Toy Story. Let's go to Toy Story Land, let's follow, come on. Slinky Dog is so much fun. It's a short ride, but it's a lot of fun. And I tell you what, the wait time for that was 65 minutes. I got lucky, a cast member saw me. He's like, you here alone? I said, yeah. He's like, come on through, we got this. So I appreciate that. I was able to use the fast pass lane that doesn't exist, but um, for traditional fast passes. But you know, it's it sure is a blessing to be able to do some things that um, normally I wouldn't be able to do. So, but, he said it's about to rain, and I think he saw the camera. Well, cast member Daniel, you're the best. So thank you very much. And uh, I don't know what we're gonna do now. Now that he's saying it's gonna rain, I need to take a look at the weather. Uh, of course, I wanna go into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, but we'll see. So I just stood in line to get my beer, and here at, as I was, it was references to Andy's mom's liquor cabinet. I love it. You know what else they love is uh, they've got a cosmopolitan, a great goose cosmopolitan. So I may have to finish this and go try it at Andy's mom's liquor cabinet. I love it. the Toy Story Mania.
the clouds looks like it's getting darker so it's time to decide what I'm gonna do um, I was walking past here earlier and I don't think I've noticed it but I do see it now that the dragon and Rhea and the last dragon looks like Elsa it has a Elsa face to it or a, that vibe or feel or it just reminds me of Elsa it did somebody else and now that they said it, it make I see it too can you see it? Is it just me? Hello. Take a look at that. I don't know if that's just because of the eyes, but it's interesting to me, but here comes the wind. All right, so here's something I just realized. So I'm here still at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and this back behind me, these double doors, um, there's a couple restaurants there, or excuse me, there's little markets, you know, you can get the cookie shop uh, there, which is what, um, Jack's Num Num Cookie. You can purchase that there when it's open prior to COVID, they had it open. Now you can get it right here at this market. Um, anyway, so when I got here, the wait line for uh, Toy Story Mania and also the Slinky Dog Dash, it was very, very long. So they had people wrapped behind these double doors it was open so you could see back there well the line is no longer that long see back there it's not that long it's still i don't know 30 minutes i think is what the standby time is right now well they've closed these doors so i guess uh when you're coming around uh the area to see what the timeline you know what it is to go to slinky dog or to go to toy story mania as soon as you see those doors are closed you know it's going to be less than 30 minutes is what i'm guessing but have you noticed that too if so let me know i think i'm going to hit uh mckinn minnie's runaway railway it's back open I'm going to do that i might do tower tear i'm not sure the weather is getting a lot cooler now so i may just uh call it a day we'll see where i may park off we shall see. Follow along. Looks like they've turned Indiana Jones Epic Song Spectacular into a relaxation station. Let's check it out. Let's see what they've done. As you see, there are no, no performances today or in the future either. Not until this is done with. So, I want to see what they've done. I guess they're using use of the uh, property. Oh, this will be good if it rains. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Are you coming in to enjoy the relaxation station? No, I'm just recording to see what uh, what is here now. Yeah, it's just a relaxation station. Yeah, this would be great when it, if it were to rain. Nice. Okay. Hi guys, welcome. Hey. Come in your party. Hi. Hi. So it looks like they've got it set up already set in place. You know, she's asking how many people in your party. I'm going to move them around, do whatever they've got to do, want to do. Um, kind of cool. Uh, so I'm just there and they're awesome. Uh, wow, smart, smart thinking, you know, that's awesome. All right. I think it's about time to do some Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. The rain has been sprinkling just a little bit. Um, feels really good. Temperature has dropped. Feels really good. But we're here for a lot of fun. We're not here for rain. So hopefully the rain will stay away this trip. Anyway, if not, I've got a few more days left. What's the best part about it? All right. So I'm in the line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and it's moving pretty quick. Um, so. When you come here, you're missing part of the show. 
So the part of the show you're missing is the first waiting area, uh, the storyline that takes place in that waiting area. The storyline goes something like this. Mickey and Minnie, they get ready for lunch, a uh, picnic, they're packing up, and Pluto gets stuck in the back of the vehicle, in the trunk. In the back of the trunk they go, and he goes, and they hit a speed bump. But when they hit that speed bump, thank you, when they hit that speed bump, um, Pluto falls out with the picnic basket. So with that picnic basket, he's trying to chase them down. Hi. Hi. All right, so I'm walking through right now. This is where they tell the story at. Anyway, so, um, and this opens up. It's kind of really cool. You need to see it in person. Really, really cool. Pluto is running, chasing Mickey and Minnie um, down. Well, he gets caught up as well in the tornado, which is an odd to Wizard of Oz, but he ends up at the end, you know, Nothing can stop us now. Let's see if you can find what Pluto is doing during this park ride, okay? So, if you can hear me, sorry, I got loud. If you can hear me, remember, look for Pluto, what he's doing during this trip. That's what I'm going to focus on. Also, did you know that the most hidden Mickeys of any theme uh, ride is here at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway? Count how many you can spot of the Mickey, uh, hidden Mickeys. Also, also, there's a note to 1928. See if you see that. Also, also, I keep keep going on. There's so many hidden things in here. Hi. There's so many hidden things in here that you need to look for. Um, you know, talking about the Imagineering, there's a note to them too. So, take a look. What all you can find. I'm going to see if I can film everything as much as, as best as I can for you, okay? But, nothing compares to being here. So, let's go. Alright, so I just got done with Mickey and Minnie's uh, Runaway Railway. So much fun looking for those headed Mickeys, watching Pluto. You run and looking for uh, Mickey and Minnie to catch up with them with this basket. It's a lot of fun to watch. I really got to go back so I can catch more of it. I know with the movements in the ride, you can't see everything, but you know what? That's why it's so great to come here, you know, because you're not going to catch everything the first time. You got to keep finding it and do more. So, but a shout out to Lisa and her kids. She stopped me at the end. She's like, hey, I was behind you guys, you know, behind me uh, in line. I just want to see if we had a, um, if I had a YouTube or whatever it was. And I told her, yeah, we did. So shout out to them. And they are right there leaving. So bye. It was awesome. So it was really, really awesome. So I love this place and I hope you do too. But if there's any recommendations that you need, uh, please ask away. I got a lot of friends who know this place. So you can probably see by the screen it's starting to rain. The lens got some water on it. So let's clean that up and uh, part two. So it's coming up. We shall see you next time around. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button too. Don't forget that. Don't tell your friends. All right, bye.